Aransas County wants to hear from you about its ambitious long term recovery plan from Hurricane Harvey. Thanks for joining us again this evening. The plan's been online since August, but now county leaders are reaching out to you for some feedback. Action 10 News reporter Seth Kovar is here now live in our studio. So, Seth, the people behind the plan have high hope for it, right? High, high yeah, they sure do, Drew. In fact, they think having this plan will help Aransas County be completely recovered from Hurricane Harvey in just three to five years. The recovery process for a storm of Harvey's magnitude is normally eight to ten years. Aransas County, ground zero for Hurricane Harvey. As county workers began the cleanup, county leaders were forming a long-term recovery team. In August, a year after the storm's landfall, the recovery team released its recovery plan and now they want to know what you think about it. We would love to know that the projects we thought of and everything we've identified, if they agree with us and if they have any more thoughts of what else we've missed. Ashley Bennis with Texas Sea Grant helped write the recovery plan after months of interviewing storm victims, collecting data and meeting with county leaders. They identified which projects need attention now and which ones can wait a bit. Helping out the people who help out the local economy is near the top of the list. We have a lot of issues with um, affordable housing. Um, Rockport, Aransas County is very dependent on tourism and uh, a lot of the people who support the workers who support that industry can't return back to their houses. Should housing be a top priority? Is there a project you think the county missed? Log on to cityofrockport.com to read the Aransas County long term recovery plan. Then send your comments to recovery team member William Whitson. His email address is on your screen right now. That's wwitson at aransascounty.org. You can also find all this information on our website, kztv10.com. Reporting live in the studio, Seth Kovar, Action 10 News.